Hello, my name is Bara. Uh, I'm from the Czech Republic and I'm studying on City of Glasgow College. Uh, the course is Computer Art and Design. The Computer Art and Design course is a, a broad-based art and design course that integrates the use of uh, traditional creative disciplines within the context of using computer technology. The origins of the course go back to 1995 when myself and a colleague started to realise the computer was starting to infiltrate out of sort of traditional art and design areas and art and design practices. So we created a course that would allow us to use the computer but say within a traditional area. So we started to introduce uh, subjects such as animation um, into the course as well as mixing that with uh, life drawing and traditional disciplines. My name is Russell Kyle, I'm a freelance graphic designer and I graduated in 1999. I do a lot of animation work, um, a lot of design work, design for print, design for web. Um, all of these skills were picked up when I was at college. What attracted me to the course was the fact that the college was pushing forward with the new media and at the time there weren't really many colleges or unis actually pushing forward to involve themselves in new media. When we are looking for employees, uh, some of the technical and creative skills that we look for are, are wide and varied. Of course we need uh, an employee who has the skill that we're currently you know, requiring. So if we're needing a web designer, we will look for somebody with HTML, CSS, um, you know, JavaScript, jQuery, all of the things, PHP, the things that we need for that role. But equally, we're also looking for somebody who can show a bit of flexibility. The course benefited me because um, the design element of it helped me to learn how to work to a brief, how to fulfil criteria that other people had asked of me. And the art side of it helped me develop my own ideas and my own process. And I was really encouraged eventually to go into art school because um, this was the aspect I enjoyed. This course really gave me uh, all the background in you know, art and design and technology that I needed. Uh, to go on to you know, another course and, and make a good shot of that. Since I left the uh, college, uh, I've been at Dundee, uh, Dundee University, uh, at the art school there, uh, doing digital interaction design. The support in the facilities are fantastic. I really enjoyed working with the lecturers. They're fantastic. I still keep in touch with them. And the facilities are great. I'm a part-time lecturer in the course, and I've been teaching on the course for about six years. I specialise in digital film editing, uh, filmmaking and animation. Um, I'm particularly interested in traditional animation and filmmaking techniques and practices and how that has developed in the digital world. My favourite aspect on the course uh, was sound project and the reason is that uh, I never really thought about making sound or uh, thinking about making sound and I really enjoy it. My name is Jamie Cooper, I'm a visual artist uh, and I'm an artist in residence here in the course. I, um, yeah, uh, I make sculpture, installations, sound art, video art and uh, today I'm painting rabbits. Yeah, so we get to kind of feed off each other and it's a, a really nice relaxed creative environment. The sort of student we're looking for and the sort of students that, that, that apply to the course do always and have always come from um, having an interest in art, that is the most important aspect of the course. And they're the sort of student that are curious about how you can use technology and art together. They have that interest, they often have an interest in games, animation, um, some will have an interest in, the, in areas of the web and how to use the web. But is it, they always will have, um, as I say, um, an interest in art, design. Um, they will all have done at least higher art at school. Well, after the first year of the course, this is the work where I ended up being produced. I began to develop my knowledge of software such as Dreamweaver, um, Photoshop. I started expanding. I'd never used software like Flash to create animations and also Flash to create a website, which is also pretty interesting. In the current digital world, it's easy for us to ignore or to overlook 
uh, new and emerging technologies. Uh, in this course we hope that the students can embrace these new technologies and demonstrate an awareness of them. My own background as a teacher um, comes from how we can learn and use computer programming languages as artists and this is certainly an area that, that is very much of interest at the moment and certainly an area of interest we have on the course. So for the final grade unit uh, on my computer art and design course um, we had to do we had to make a digital artefact that was based around um, St. Tina's Square in Glasgow. So for, uh, for that I decided to look at the way that people move through the square uh, and you know, try out different ways of visualising and recording that. helped me get to where I am today because it helped me focus on what I actually wanted to study. Um, because of the variety I ended up realising that photography was what I wanted to do. Before starting the course um, I knew very little about the design process and came out of the course knowing about the design process and that's probably the most important thing you're going to learn. I would recommend the course to anyone who wants to use a computer creatively. I think this is a really good um, foundation building block for how you start to overcome just seeing the computer as something that you use for word processing and the internet. If you really want to see how you can use a computer and digital medium to express yourself, then I think it's a really good course to join.